So Jared Kushner has got a bright idea. He's going to solve the problem in Israel right now. Uh, all you have to do is just move those Gazans out of the Gaza Strip, and hey, that's prime Mediterranean waterfront property. And by the way, he's right. It is prime Mediterranean waterfront property, and it's worth a fortune. Uh, he's wrong, though, that moving people off their land to, so that you can build a Trump Tower or whatever is like some kind of good idea. It's called theft. But uh, here's what he said. He, this was in, a, in an interview uh, a couple of days ago. He said, uh, the thing I would try to do if I was Israel right now is I would just bulldoze something in the, in the, in the, in the, in the, in the neg, I think it's pronounced Negev, N-E-G-E-V. It's the big desert, you know. And I would try to move people in there, Kushner said. I know that won't be the popular thing to do, but I think that's a better option so that you can go in and finish the job. Finish the job meaning what? Kill off all the Palestinians in Gaza or all the Gazans? That's you know, certainly what Netanyahu has implied. He went on to say that the Gaza, quote, waterfront property is, quote, very valuable and that Israel should remove civilians while it, quote, cleans up the Gaza Strip. Yeah. As uh, Tommy Viter tweets, Jared Kushner's plan for Gaza, ethnic cleansing, forced dislocation of Gazans to a desert in southern Israel, continue a war that's already killed 30,000 people and build some condos. Why did the Saudis give Kushner $2 billion? Well, Donald Trump overrode intel officers by granting Kushner a security clearance despite his risk to national security. He requested more, Kushner requested more classified documents than any other White House staff not working on the National Security Council. What did he do with those documents? Well, we don't know, but the Saudis did give him $2 billion. Very strange, very strange. Also, Senator Bernie Sanders says Canada is absolutely right to stop arms sales to Israel. I didn't know Canada had done this. I, you know, it's, uh, this is apparently news from just the last day or two. Uh, Canadian Foreign Minister Melanie Jolie, uh, J-O-L-Y, I'm assuming it's pronounced Jolie, um, said that her government is going to implement a non-binding resolution calling for an end to the further authorization and transfer of arms exports to Israel to ensure compliance with Canada's arms export regime. Um, you know, basically what she's saying is that they have a requirement that, that if you're going to buy weapons made in Canada, and Canada does have a defense industry, if you're going to buy weapons made in Canada, they cannot be used in war crimes. They can only be used in, in you know, legitimate defensive wars. And Canada has determined that the, what Israel is doing in Gaza right now is not a legitimate defensive war.